Now this is a clove hitch with a working end. Now this one you can't really take like a regular clove hitch and slip over the end of something. This one has to be tied directly over something so it, it creates a nice tight hitch. So if we look down here you can see I've got my hitching post going on here. Nice square hitching post. I'm going to take my rope and I'm just going to go ahead and lay the working end right over the top of it and loop it back under. I'm going to put a little bit more length on this because I'm going to need it. So I've got this nice hoop going on here and I'm going to wrap it back over like this and then keeping it on the opposite side here I'm going to wrap it back over again. Now if you want to you can put a little loop in here and tie it but as I pull it here it's nice and secure and you can pull on your little end here and it comes right loose. I'm going to tie that in one more time. I'm going to wrap it over my hitching post and under and over back over again on the opposite side of my loop here and I'm just going to go ahead actually I'm not even going to put a loop in at this time I'm just going to bring it under and there we go